Well, it's proving to be a bumper autumn for mushrooms across Victoria with periods of rain followed by a burst of sunshine. But along with the edible varieties, some quite deadly ones are also flourishing. And Victoria's Chief Health Officer says mushroom fanciers need to be very careful. Iskander Razak reports. Small, earthy, abundant, toxic. That would be the most dangerous mushroom in the world. This causes more fatalities worldwide than any other mushroom. Heavy rain and sunshine have created the perfect conditions for the death cap mushroom and the yellow stainer to sprout everywhere. The death cap is wherever oak trees are planted throughout the state, anywhere where there are oak trees. The yellow stainer is a mushroom of parks, gardens, backyards, ovals. And both can kill in slow, sickening ways. Very bad stomach ache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhoea. Every year we see uh, numbers of people coming down and reporting illness that are eventually tracked back to the yellow stainer mushroom. As far as the death cap mushroom, we see a death every year or two or three. What makes these mushrooms extremely deadly is they look like they could be safe. The death cap mushroom, which is this one right here, for example, looks very similar to the kind of mushroom that you could buy from your local greengrocer or shop, but it is fatal. And that has authorities worried that foreign exchange students, new migrants, even Australians interested in raw or whole foods could go out foraging and make a potentially deadly mistake. The most recent death in Australia happened in 2012 when two people ate death caps at a New Year's Eve dinner party. There's enough in that fruiting body to kill someone. So it's a very nasty toxin. It's not inactivated by cooking um, and it uh, basically attacks the cells in the liver uh, and, and stops them functioning. Food for thought for any would-be forager. Iskander Razak, ABC News, Melbourne.